Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Firestick Basic and going through an easy way to side load all your favorite APKs. And at 50 bucks, you can't go wrong buying this TV stick. So here's some of its specs. It comes with dual band Wi-Fi, one gigabit of RAM, eight gigs of internal storage, and plays up to 1080p, 60 frames per second. And I'll be sure to include all the specs down in the description below. So let's get right into the unboxing. So as we open the box here, we can see that everything is compartmentalized. Uh, it's very well laid out. Over here, we got our manual. Here it's showing you how to put the batteries in. And then it's gonna show you everything that the Fire Stick comes with. So here on the left, we got the Amazon Fire Stick. It has a nice smooth matte black finish. Over here is where you plug in your AC adapter. Okay, over here we have our HDMI connector. And this is where you'll plug it into the HDMI slot on your TV. And if you do have any difficulty plugging this into your TV, it does come with a dongle. So it gives you a little bit more room. And we'll see that a little later in the box. So here we obviously have the remote. Um, it comes with the basic functions, back, home, menu, rewind, pause, and fast forward. And as this is the basic version, you will not get voice search. As expected, it's very light. And once again, it has a smooth matte black finish. On the back of the remote here, we have the compartment for your AAA batteries. It takes two and it's also included in the package. Here we got the power brick where you'll plug in your USB power cord. Here we got our two AAA batteries. Here on the right, we got our USB power cord. So you'll plug this into the um, power brick and plug the other side to your fire stick. So now the last thing in the box is the HDMI dongle. Unfortunately, when I was making the video, I did run out of battery. So I just took a picture of how the HDMI dongle looked like. Now that the boxing is complete, I'm gonna plug this fire stick in and I'm gonna get started showing you how to siloed apps the easy way on the fire stick. Okay, so here we are at a Fire Stick, and as you can see, we're presented with the Fire Stick main menu. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the setting for allowing apps to install from unknown sources, kind of like you would on any other Android TV box. So at the very top here, you'll notice Home, Categories and Settings. Just scroll over to the right and choose Settings. And then you'll go down to where it says Device. Once you're at the device, just click on the center button and you'll go to developer options and hit okay. And then you'll choose apps from unknown sources and you'll just click on that and you'll just say turn on. Okay, so that's it for enabling unknown sources. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually install ES File Explorer. I do know that there is the Fire Stick Downloader app where you can type in URLs and you could tell it to automatically silo that way. I prefer a much easier route because I'm really lazy typing. I just wanna go on my phone, download the APK and then just send it over to my Fire Stick. So let's go back. And we're gonna to go to the categories field at the very top. And once we're there, we're gonna press the down arrow and we're gonna go all the way down to utility. Once we're at utility, we just hit okay. And we'll just go over to the third one, which is ES File Explorer. We'll just click on it. And then it says free to download. Just click on that there. And we'll just wait for it to download. You got a nap, just hit okay. Okay, now that you can see it says open, so we'll just press okay. And it opens up ES File Explorer. So the next part of this is you're gonna go to your phone and you're gonna download ES File Explorer as well. Okay, now that you have ES File Explorer installed on your mobile device, or your tablet or whatever it is. Um, you'll also wanna make sure on your Fire TV that you do have ES File Explorer open because if it's not open, um, it obviously won't work. 
So by this point, you should have whatever APK that you want downloaded and sent to your Fire Stick already downloaded. So on our mobile device, we're gonna hit the little um, three lines up on the top left-hand corner, and you'll browse to where you save the file. And just a side note here, um, you will need to be on the same wireless network, otherwise they won't be able to communicate to each other. We'll go to, in my case, we're gonna go to local, and then download. And I have mob drove here, um, just ready to go. So I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna hold down on the APK. As you can see, it put a green check mark there. Then we're gonna go down to the bottom right hand corner where it says more. And we're gonna scroll through there. And at the very top, you see the send option here. Just click on that. We'll just leave the nickname there. Just hit okay. And see right there where it says AFTT. You're just gonna click on that there. And now over on your Fire Stick, you will see that is trying to send you a file. Just select okay on the Fire Stick. And now it's doing the transfer across. and it shows completed. We're gonna hit the back arrow and then we're gonna choose, are you sure to disconnect with the user? We'll say yes. Okay, so I just exited EX File Explorer just cause the formatting was a bit off. And now I've relaunched EX File Explorer. And now I'm gonna go over here to the left where it says local. I'm gonna click on device. Then I'm gonna go over to the right here I'm gonna click on SD card. I'm gonna go over to ES share. And now you'll see that Mobdro APK is now here. So I'm just gonna click on it. And then after I will click and install. We'll go down to the very bottom here and make sure we highlight install. Okay, as you can see, Mobdro is installed. I'll go down to the very bottom and choose open. And there we go. Mobdro is now installed. So that is it for the unboxing and the side loading on the Fire Stick TV. To me, I find this the simplest way of side loading. Um, if you guys have any other way that you find it even simpler than this, just drop it down in the comments below. And just as a special note, if you are using the pro version of ES File Explorer, the sending is much easier as it will allow you to specify which directory you do want to save it into. And it won't adjust any of the formatting on your screen where I have to exit out and come back in. So like I said, any questions or comments, just drop them down below. Hopefully you like this video, share and subscribe. And if you need any links to the Fire Stick TV Basic, I'll drop them down in the description below if you want to go through my affiliate links. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.